Hey there, second grade. Today we are going to be working on our Check My Progress. Now, at this point, you should have already done uh, Chapter 12, Lesson 1 and Lesson 2. If you haven't done those, go back and watch those videos and do those lessons now because this is just going to be going over what we learned in those chapters. And so I want you to make sure you've got the information uh, that you need to be able to complete it. Now, today we're going to be on page 757. So if you go ahead and open up your books to page 757. And what I want for you to do today uh, is complete this part. So uh, we've got complete each sentence. So you got to read the sentence. A blank has five sides and five angles. And you've got to choose the ones that are up here. For the next part, we're going to circle the shape that matches the name. So you got to read the different names and then circle the ones that match it. On the next page, uh, we are going to write the name of the shape and then circle the ones that are the same. And then down here for our brain builders, uh, we are going to be writing how many sides and angles and circle the shapes that have one less side than a pentagon. All right, so there's two steps to this. So we're going to do these sides and angles. And then for these four problems right here, which one has one less side than a pentagon? So we've got to figure out which one's a pentagon. Then the last one down here, we're going to look at the shapes and mark the shape that does not belong. So I want you to go ahead and pause your video right now, complete both sides of this, and when you are ready, you're gonna come back and press play on the video, and then follow along with me. So go ahead and pause now and do those problems. All right, I hope that you were able to take a little bit of time uh, to go ahead and solve these problems. If not, do it now. Uh, and I always tell you guys, if, if you make a mistake, that's not a problem. Just cross it off, erase it if you've got a pencil, uh, and go ahead and fill in the right answer. The, the answers that you put down, uh, think about why you answered it that way, and then what was it that you had a mistake on? It's okay to make mistakes. You guys have seen me on these videos. I've made mistakes too. We just got to fix them if we make a mistake. Number one says a blank has five sides and five angles. So a five-sided uh, and five-angled shape. So, uh, well, it's not angle because that's in that one right there. Side, no, it's not going to be that. So I know that I'm looking for a shape, uh, not a two-dimensional shape. So my choices are pentagon, hexagon, or triangle. Well, a pentagon is the one that has five sides. Pentagon five sides and five angles. For number two, it says a blank has three sides and three angles. Well, once again, uh, I'm looking, I know that I'm I'm looking for an actual shape. So it's not going to be angle. It's not going to be side. It's not going to be a two-dimensional shape. I'm looking for something that has three and three. Well, is that a hexagon or a triangle? Well, a triangle uh, kind of looks like this, and it's got one, two, three sides. So this has got to be triangle. All right, so I've used triangle. Do you notice that I'm crossing these off as I do this? This is a great uh, skill to practice when you're taking a test. If you've used something and you're not going to use it again, cross it off because we don't need to have it up there anymore. My last one here says it has six sides and six angles. Well, six sides and six angles. Again, it's not going to be angle. It's not going to be side because we've already used those in the answer. Uh, it, it's probably a two-dimensional shape, but I'm looking for a specific one. So it looks like I'm going to choose hexagon. And if you remember from our previous lessons, we talked about that, right? We talked about hexagons and the uh, six sides that they have. And remember, the angles are on the insides of those. All right, let's go down to number four. It says circle the shape or shapes that match the name. So we're looking for triangles on this one triangle again three sides and three angles so we've got one two three so that fits one two three four five six does not one two three hey there we go one two three four does not so we had two triangles pentagon and if you're unsure of what these are remember go back and double check uh what it is that our uh, that our vocab cards say, because we did that at the very beginning. Pentagon has five sides and five angles. So let's check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four. Goodness, no. 
One, two, three, four, five. All right, we found one. All right, there is our pentagon. It's right there. It's got five sides, five angles. All right, let's take a look at number six. Number six says a hexagon. Now, if you'll remember, hexagon means that it is a six-sided shape, a six-sided shape. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more. Sorry. All right, so for number six, we're looking for six-sided shapes. So let's count them up. We got one. Oops, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so that checks out. The next one, I've got a circle. Well, a circle has no sides or angles, so I don't want that. Next up, I've got one, two, three. That does not work. So my last one, I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. That works. We've got two hexagons. For number seven, I've got quadrilateral. Now, quadrilateral just means a four-sided shape. All right, so I'm looking for any shapes that have four sides. So we've got one, two, and three. No, that does not check out. Up next, I've got one, two, three, four. Yes, that does check out. Next up, I've got one, two, three, four. Hey, another one. We got two there. Let's check our last one. One, two, three, and four. All right. Ooh. There we go. So we've got three quadrilaterals. All right, we're going to continue on page 758. So go ahead and turn to the next page with me. And it says, write the name of the shape. Circle the shapes that match. So uh, for this problem right here, we've got to figure out first, what is the shape? And then we have to figure out, all right, uh, which ones match it. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five. And again, if we go back and look at our vocab cards, we can see that a five-sided shape is called a pentagon. Pentagon, all right. And then I'm looking for which one of these shapes also has five sides and five angles. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Nope. One, two, three. No, again, we're looking for five sides. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. All right. So we had two five-sided pentagons. For number nine, I'm looking here. I've got one, two, three, and four sides. All right. Four sides. But these aren't just four sides. We're looking for a rectangle in particular. All right rectangle now remember a rectangle is four sided four sides and the two sides that are opposite are parallel so they'll never cross each other so when we take a look i've got one two three four perfect there's a rectangle oh, sorry it keeps doing that all right my next one i've got one two three four but this and this are eventually going to cross each other so they are not parallel so i'm going to cross this off because that is not it's not a rectangle. Uh, next, I've got one, two, three, and four. Perfect. And then lastly, I've got a triangle. One, two, three. That does not fit. After we've solved number eight and number nine, we're going to come down here to number 10. Now, we're going to write how many sides and angles and then circle the shapes that have less than one side than a pentagon. So I'm actually going to circle that part of my directions uh, because sometimes I find it easier uh, to get going and then come back to that. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to do number 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm just going to look at the sides and angles, and then I'm going to go back and figure out how many sides a pentagon has, and then what's one less than that. So for number 10, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six sides. And if you remember from before, an angle is wherever two sides meet. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six sides, six angles. All right. Number 11, we've got one, two, three, and four. So there's four sides. And then we also have one, two, three, four, four angles. All right. Next up, I've got one, two, three, four, five sides. And then our angles, one, two, three, four, five. Five sides, five angles. All right, and number 13, I've got one, two, three, and four sides. And then my angles, one, oops, I wanted to go to green. There we go. One, two, three, 
and four. So I've got four angles. Well, like I said, well, now I need to figure out, wait a second, what was a pentagon? Remember, a pentagon. Well, pentagon uh, is what number 12 is. All right, number 12 is a five-sided shape. So if I want one less side than a pentagon, which one of these or which ones have one less? Well, that would mean that I would need to take my five and minus one. So I'm looking for something that has four sides. So there's number 10. Well, number 10 had six, so no. All right, number 11 has four sides. Perfect, so I'm going to circle that shape. Number 12 is a pentagon, so I'm not going to circle that. And number 13 is a four-sided shape, so perfect. We've got two that we're going to circle because they have one less side than our pentagon. All right. Number 14, it says look at the shapes and mark the shape that does not belong. Now, I hope you were able to look at this and go, one of these is not like the other, right? Uh, it's pretty easy for us to see because a triangle has one, two, three sides, uh, and the other ones don't. And that's exactly what I want you to do. When you find these answers, don't just go, oh, it's this one, I'm done. Why? Well, it is that way because this has three sides and three angles. This has four sides and four angles, four sides and four angles, four sides and four angles. It's different because it has one less side. Okay, you want to remember that and you want to tell yourself, oh, that is why uh, I'm I'm marking this is not just because it's a triangle, but that makes it different because the other ones all have four sides and four angles. Well, thanks for doing a lesson with me today. Uh, I hope that you were able to follow along with me. I hope that you were able to uh, make any corrections that needed to be made uh, so that that way, again, it's, it's not all about the right answer. It's just about learning from if we make a mistake as well. Uh, thanks so much. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good day.